Bright Minds has several drugs in development for neuropsychiatry. Psilocybin is, has gotten a, a lot of press lately with very promising data from trials in patients with depression and anxiety in termi with terminal cancer, with um, other psychedelics in treatment of PTSD, in uh, small studies with major depressive disorder that is resistant to other treatments or treatment resistant depression. So there is a host of indications that Bright Minds is targeting in the neuropsychiatric space. And because of our unique chemistry capabilities, we have the opportunity for having unique compounds that exploit certain aspects of the serotoninergic neurocircuitry to improve depression. So there are a host of indications that we can go after with our unique compounds. And broadly, I would divide them into three groups. One is the more of the psychedelic group, that is the 5-HT2A agonist. The second is the impulsivity group, that is more of the 5-HT2C agonist. And then finally, the mixed group, which is more post-traumatic stress disorder and other diseases where we have to control both the depressive component as well as the impulsivity component. And we will do all of this without having the 5-HT2B effects on the heart.